How's it going guys? We're back in another video here and this video is on how to get started in MLB Diamond Dynasty to really be successful. What you should do first when you get the game. I'll show you everything you need to know right now. If you guys have not already subscribed though, we're close to 30,000 subs. would really appreciate it. if you want more MLB content. Please comment down below. I'm down. So let's hop into it right now. So Diamond Dynasty, I mean, there's a lot to really gather from Diamond Dynasty. There's a lot going on within this game mode, okay? Very overwhelming at first. So if you're someone that's new to the game, it can look crazy, right? So you you load up, you see all these cards, first of all. You're like, all right, well, how do I get these cards, number one? Uh, you see, uh, for example, you have programs, right? You have, a, you have a season one reward path. You have team affinity. What's that? What are other, what, what is this? What's a, what's a starter or in Justin Verlander? What's the world baseball classic? So I'm going to show you guys everything and what you should really do first. Okay. So my first thing that I really recommend to you guys is I would do the world baseball classic one. Okay. I really would start with that. And the reason being is it's very easy and you get 90 overall cards simply, 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 simply. It's very simple here, okay? So basically, guys, really what you only, all you need to do is just play through the moments. And the moments are really not that challenging at all. They're really not. So uh, I'm a big fan of, of definitely just crushing the, the moments here because really you get so, so many 90s, right? Like every here, I'll show you guys. Every, what is it? How many stars? So you get, yeah, every five stars it looks like you get a 90 choice pack, right? You get two 90s, by the way, by the way. So you get right there at five, you get a 90, two 90s, all right? So you have all these options. You got the Nicky Lopez, you got the Loizaga here. You also have uh, Bethancourt. You got the Newt Bar. I mean, so many, Britain. Britain's sick. That's an awesome card. I already chose him. Uh, the Drake here. Uh, not the rapper, but uh, Wong Bar uh, Park. Uh, they also have Garcia. He's an awesome pitcher. Nelson Cruz. We have the Glenn Denning. All right. Then you also have M Minerick. I'm trying my best. Uh, Masago. Uh, then you also have Lynn. And finally, Canelli. Okay. So you have a choice of two of these every five tiers you complete. Okay. And it gets better though. It's even more worth it, guys. Okay, so just playing through these moments, you get two stars basically every time, and so many stars you can earn just from playing these. And again, they're really short. They're simple. Uh, it's a it's a good way to learn the game as well. Except if you're new to the game as well, uh, it's a great way to to really just get a feel for it and hitting and stuff and pitching and all of it. So uh, really, I recommend doing these challenges. It's very sorry, these moments. It's very simple, I, I find, at least. And again, you keep doing all these. Uh, I recommend doing the showdown as well. I mean, the showdown, if you can complete the showdown, you get 25 stars. I mean, that's even better, right? So, I mean, that's a little bit more challenging, probably, though, than the, just a regular moment. But I definitely think it's a good idea as well to do the showdown. Also, see, you can get even more, more items here and, and more cards. So you get three packs, just random standard packs here. And finally, uh, you also get to a point here at... How many stars is this? 80. You get a 95 choice pack, right? That's ex that's very really exciting. There's some really awesome cards. Harry Ford. You got the Paul Goldschmidt. You also got the Doval. You got the Julian. We got Sandoval here. We also got Luis Robert Jr. What a player he is. Javier. And then we also got Nolan Arenado. So, I mean, really, so many amazing cards here. And just for playing the game, it just, and, and it really won't take you that long. Like, it'll take you some time for sure. I'm not saying it's going to be like, oh, it's going to take you an hour and you got 95. That's not how it works. I mean, you got to put some time in to get rewards. But really, these rewards are, are very excellent and it's so worth it. And you even get more cards down the down the pipeline. You, got, you also have the condo. You got the uh, Yamamoto here. Uh, we also got the Chang. We got Urias. I mean, there's there's just solid cards here. Walker as well. Uh, Otani. I mean, that's a card that I really want so bad. And finally, a Rosarena. So, I mean, these are all excellent cards. So, enough of the World Baseball Classic one. Really, try to play through that, complete that. That's really what I'd focus on, first of all. Next up, I would say I would probably work on the Conquest, guys. I work on Conquest. It's a very good thing here, guys, to play. Uh, Conquest, to me, it's uh, it's something that you can earn so many rewards just playing it. Conquest, to me, is so important to play. Uh, I would play... Really, I would probably I would probably just do the, the Nation of Baseball one. I, I really would. Because um, you can get just so many... It, it's a lot. It's, it's, it's the biggest map, right? But it, it's so many good rewards. You get packs. You get... I mean, you also get uh, Roberto Clemente postseason edition card. I mean, it's just so worth it, and it's actually pretty fun. It really is. So uh, I really, to me, find Conquest to be 
I don't really play it too often, I'll be real with you guys. However, I know it's very good and the rewards are very much so worth it. And, and really, uh, you guys should definitely do Conquest. It's one of the first things you do, 100%. I would say, after the World Baseball Classic thing, I would do the Conquest. And then you have a solid, uh, like, kind of, like, team, I would say, as well, by that point. Uh, Showdown, I'm a fan. I would do the Starter Showdown, uh, just to get a feel for it as well. I would do the Starter Showdown. Uh, I think that's smart. I really do. So, uh, yeah, do the, do the Starter one. Uh, then you can do the affinity ones as well, but just do, do the, the starter showdown just to kind of get a feel for showdown as well, I'd say is a, is a good idea. Uh, then I would really say, guys, after that, I mean, I would say probably you probably should do the team affinities, really. Team affinities is probably the next thing I'd really recommend. Team affinities are another awesome thing, just kind of very similar to the World Baseball Classic, but... Basically, uh, you get so cards like again. I I barely play it again. Like I barely play guys, and I have all these crazy cards already. All right, so twenty thousand, right? And look at that. I'm, I already got Judge. I got my my man Aaron Judge. I'm a big Yankees fan. If you guys didn't know, Aaron Judge ninety two overall, and it's just simple twenty thousand. That's nothing, and you get all these just from just playing. It's it's really not hard at all. It really is not. So basically, I I'm gonna I did the moments as well. You get a thousand per. So uh, in the end, you got about five thousand. So I mean five thousand TA. So really, uh, it's it's really just solid. Uh, I also recommend doing the showdown as well. As I mentioned, you got fifteen thousand. That's how I I did the fifteen thousand showdown, and then I did the the moment. And that's how I got a ninety two, just like that, guys. And that took that took uh, thirty minutes, maybe thirty to forty minutes, I'd say. Uh, really not a long amount of time. So I would say, guys, uh, it's such a useful way to just get a solid team to start before going online. Guys, I recommend going online last. I feel like you should try to get just a solid player base of like of like just at least like 90s, even if you don't want to go all the way for like the 95. So like, for example, you can see here, uh, you can get even higher than 92s, right? So uh, let me see here, the 97s, right? I mean, you want this for sure. I mean, affinities are, again, I, I'd say right after the World Baseball Classic, you probably want to work towards, and you can do conquests as well, but also affinities are really useful because 97s, are, I mean, these are unbelievable. The 97 stand is ridiculous. I mean, look at this power, 125, 124. I mean, that's absolutely insane. Uh, all of these cards are awesome, for sure. I mean, none of them are bad, that's for sure. But Bich Bichette's sick. Uh, Devers is good. So, really, guys, I would recommend doing just those for sure as well in that order. Online, please save for last, I find. All right? Uh, so, basically, the XP path as well, that's another thing. I mean, you got to pretty much just play, pretty, play. There's nothing really to do here. You just got to play the game, right, essentially. And that's how you get XP, right? So... I'm actually very close to accomplishing this. I mean, again, just by playing the game randomly, just getting, just getting XP along the way in, in other modes, like just a random moment I play, and I'm going to get a, a unbelievable choice pack of Garrett Cole, Harper, uh, Andrews, and, and Presley. I'm probably going to take Cole, because again, big Yankees fan, so i gotta got to have all my guys while I can, okay? So Garrett Cole, for sure. Uh, and then again, it's just so many different options, so many different cards. And again, 40,000, and then another 30x, 30,000 XP. Guess what? I'll have another choice pack to choose Harper if I want. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's so many, so many easy ways to get cards, and and you guys should try to make sure you do complete these though, because uh, it's very important to complete these. And the reason why I say that is because, guys, all these cards will be useful in the end. You're gonna need these cards for future potential trade-ins as well. So that's what's very important as well. I mean, that Granderson card's sick. I mean, so so many just awesome cards here. They really are. Uh, and then I guess after all that though, guys, then I I consider online. And what I really would say is. Ranked is, is fine. I mean, 99 Lou Gehrig, I mean, that's sick for sure. And so is the Gunnar Henderson. But I just find, guys, to me, to me, to me, ranked season, I mean, it's nine innings, right? So that's, that's quite a bit. I understand that you can get these just, just by playing, right? But it's not simple, right? It's really not a simple thing. It's, it's going to be a lot of time, right? Uh, Battle Royale, I mean, if you're really good at the game, I would recommend Battle Royale because you can get so many easy rewards, right? Like, there's just so many. Because it does it show the cards that are out right now? Let's see. I see. I don't want to enter right now. Yeah, I don't want to enter. So basically, yeah. Here, here's the Battle Royale program right now. So you got silvers, whatever, and and this is just from just playing, and, and you get all these other cards here as well, guys. It's it's excellent. It really is. So many so many cards here just for playing Battle Royale. And then if you get the flawless, if you go uh, if you go undefeated, twelve and zero. Uh, you get a, I believe, I don't know if it's a choice pack of this. I mean, it looks like it is, right? So, 
Uh, that's really exciting as well. It's a way to get stubs as well. Like, that's how you can get a lot of stubs if you just really get the game and play Battle Royale and go 12-0 and, and and get the 12-0 the and 0 Flawless Choice Pack, right? So really, I think that's a, a, a thing you consider. Uh, I feel like ranked is the last thing I do. Events are good too. Events I recommend for sure. Because, I mean, it's it's really not that crazy. It's three inning games, right? So you can kind of get through the game. It's similar to Battle Royale, as I mentioned. Uh, with your time, I just think it's more smart to probably use things that you can get done, get cards in short amounts of time. So, for example, events here, uh, you have Urias, 95 overall, and that's 15 wins, right? And uh, this expires April 7th. So you have about two weeks, basically, to do this. Two weeks to get 15 wins, which, again, it's, it's online, so it's more challenging for sure. But a 95 overall... Five more wins, you get a 97 Pete Alonzo. Another five when you get a 97 Mookie Betts. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. And again, that's 25 wins in two weeks. And again, I know online it's more challenging. I certainly get it. I just think it's really worth it for sure if you're, if you're going to be playing online events. To me, honestly, events I'd probably rank even at a Battle Royale. But it just it depends, I guess, on how you feel about it. But there you go, guys. I mean, that's, that's really what I would do when it comes to, to getting started in, in Diamond Dynasty for MLB 23, the show. Very similar to years past, but hope this helps you guys out. If you have any other questions, comment down below. If you guys want more content of this, though, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's, and join the Discord to talk to me, follow, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.